Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video this morning. I trust and hope that you're doing really great and so we're gonna be taking a look at our current systems out there. We've got 95L. We also have that next tropical wave given a high chance of development so we could have two active named storms by the end of this week. Uh, maybe even one want be in a hurricane which is 95L since it is expected to intensify and so uh, we're gonna be taking a look at these systems, what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding in areas as well and before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update all right so we're going to kick start things firstly looking at the satellite imagery uh and here we can see that we've got the remnants of our, our tropical cyclones out there which are no longer active and uh, that cluster of showers and thunderstorms that we see that is invest 95 l there's another disturbance which is off of africa and we'll be moving to those in a moment but going into the caribbean and surrounding areas here we can see some thunderstorms popping up well to the north of the dominican republic and offshore of the Turks and caicos Alley. Also seen some activity across sections of Cuba near Jamaica, Hispaniola, and I know that last night some uh, areas actually experienced some showers and thunderstorms in parts of Jamaica, especially southwestern parishes. You can let me know what happened for you. Over in Central America, not a whole lot happening this morning. And uh, let's go down to Northern South America and the South Caribbean. And here we can see that there isn't much taking place here either. But near Trinidad, there are those showers and thunderstorms moving in and other parts of the Windward Islands so uh, there might be some increased rainfall across some spots today so uh, be aware of that and in terms of the rainfall through today let's look at this map here so as the map becomes more colorful with those shades of oranges reds that is when a lot more rainfall is expected so as we're going to be heading through the uh, throughout today and headed into the early morning hours of tomorrow this is what is expected so some substantial rainfall will be likely across some spots in the northern Caribbean some sections of Cuba, potentially the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, Jamaica, and also over into sections of uh, Hispaniola. For the Cayman Islands, there might not be as much rainfall, but then over into Central America, lots of showers and thunderstorms could pop up, especially this afternoon. Similar story as we head down into Colombia, parts of Venezuela, but again, the Guyana's going to be pretty dry. And then that activity in the vicinity of the Windward Islands. So going from Trinidad and Tobago up to Grenada, the Grenadines, there might be some activity uh, through today, but as we head further north, the chance of rainfall gets a lot lower. Now we're returning to what is happening out there in the uh, tropics in terms of our systems. And so we're looking at the graphical tropical weather outlook map from the National Hurricane Center. What we have up there is Franklin's remnants that may try to redevelop offshore of Europe. But then in the main development region, we have our two disturbances to watch. There we have 95L and this one, a tropical wave, not yet designated as an invest, but it should be very soon. So as this one is going to be making its way off Africa, it will be moving into a conducive environments and could intensify into a tropical depression even a tropical storm within the coming days but this is going to be turning out to sea so that is some good news with it this might not be a bother for anyone however with those showers and thunderstorms developing there might be some inclement weather induced across the Cabo Verde Islands now we're heading on to 95L and 95L is given that near 100% chance of development through the next seven days and a 90% chance through the next 48 hours so there is almost some certainty that this will become our next name storm let's look at it on satellite and here we can see that it is pretty disorganized right now but it should eventually get itself together and uh let's look at conditions out there in regards to the dry air so the wind shear should be conducive we know the ocean temperatures are pretty much off the charts right now so it's that dry air let's look at it here we can see that we've got some dry air in the vicinity of the disturbance so uh, this might try to play a role in impacting the system, uh, the system's development. So let's see how it's going to behave through today and uh, if it will indeed become our next name storm, maybe by later today or tomorrow. But I mean, that seems pretty likely right now. And even as we look into the Caribbean, we can see all that dry air and dust ex uh, extended into the region as well, going from uh, Northeast Islands all the way down to the ABC Islands. So you guys, they might notice some hazy 
conditions. So now we're heading on to the ensemble tracks from both Euro and GFS and we're kickstarting with Euro and when we see the tracks being pink those are major hurricane force winds expected so we can see that there is pretty good agreement with most of the ensemble members for Euro that we're gonna have this becoming a major hurricane to the north of the eastern Caribbean. Look at them taking the system up north and out to sea so if you're in the US I know that there has been uh, many there have been many persons asking in the comments will Florida be impacted especially so uh, it seems unlikely at this point in time there is just so much consistency as of lately with that curve that is expected and some of the members also expecting development of our next tropical wave there's a new cluster they're looking at interest in but going on to the GFS and some uh, members we can see that they're also in pretty good agreement with this turn some of these want to take the system a bit closer to the Caribbean but uh, the area of the most dense tracks we see show that the system is not going to be very close in proximity to the Caribbean, but any impacts for northeastern islands will all be dependent on the size of it. And we should also note that even though we're seeing this kind of consistency, there can still be changes. So that is why we have to keep watching it over the course of the next couple of days. But it seems very unlikely that this will be impacting the U.S. So a frontal system will be exiting the states, and that should be uh, what causes that northward pull and then with the model intensity guidance here we have most models expecting that this will become a major hurricane three of them saying okay this will be a cat five and I don't doubt that actually happening because it will be in a very conducive environment and especially with those above average sea surface temperatures that is going to be a big boost for the system so I really think that it has the potential to actually make it to cat 5 status but in terms of that turn expected we want to watch for potential impacts in Bermuda recent systems such as Idalia and Franklin have affected the island so let us see if this next brewing tropical cyclone which is the uh, lead leads the next name let's see if it is going to be bringing any impacts to the island as we head into the next uh, several days again we have to keep watch and there can still be some shifts in what is expected of it and so guys that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update so again we've got the remnants of Franklin that may try to redevelop we also have that next tropical wave which is making its way off the African coast that we're likely to see become something as a right now the formation chance stands at 70 percent through the next seven days and the next name after lee is margo so this could become margo while 95 l could become lee and so i will keep you guys posted as time goes by and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update and i trust and hope that you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond once i get the chance to do so and as always remember to be otherwise